everyone. I'm not sure about you, but sometimes I find it really hard to find time in my day to get a workout in. Um, so this flow is really catered for if you're short on time. 10 minute flow, get the body moving, get the work done, and then back to your day. 10 minutes um, is all we need sometimes just to move the body in and get things going. So join me today for our quick 10 minute flow. Okay, so standing under our rigging point, we're gonna warm it up with some squats, hands in the fabric for a little bit of assistance, send the hips back, back up. So making sure that the knees aren't going over the ankles, you're sitting those hips all the way back, abs are on, Sending the arms out in front, help you with some stability. Awesome. Coming in front of our fabric, we're gonna bring our right foot into the fabric. We're gonna go into a little bit of a lunge series here. So sending the foot back, Lunging down, using the inner hips or inner thighs, sorry, to zip back up. Abs are on. Awesome, let's bring the hands to the floor. You might need to jump the left foot forward a little bit for our lunge. Plant the right hand, left arm is gonna come into a twist. We're gonna bend the back knee here and extend it back out. Turning the right glute on. One more here. Bringing the left hand back onto the mat, scooting the left foot back for a three-legged dog. Pressing the hands into the mat. Bringing the shoulders over the wrists, pressing into our hands, Pressing our right foot into the hammock, left foot comes up and in, plank. And let's go for a few tucks in our plank position. Tucking the knees in, sending them back out, trying to maintain a nice flat back in this position. Abs are on, they're working. One more here. Let's release the right foot down to the mat, pressing it back into our downward dog, getting into that right hamstring. We're gonna hop the right foot up behind the right wrist, readjusting if we need. Left hand stays pressed into the mat, right hand reaches up to the ceiling. Let's bend in the back leg, straighten the back leg. Should be starting to feel a little bit of a burn in the legs. Last one here. Okay. We turn the hands to the ground. We're gonna bring the right hand up to the hip, stand it all the way up. Release the back foot from the hammock. 
bringing our hammock to our hips, folding at the hips, coming all the way down, walking the hands out, walking the feet back. Let's take our supported down dog here, pedaling out the feet if you need to. We're going to tuck our knees towards our chest, come into that hip hinge, press back through the arms. Nice big stretch on the side of the body here. Hands coming back over the wrists, extending out with the legs, pressing back into our flying dawn dog, our straddle variation. Let's take a little bit of a side bend here. Awesome, bring the knees back. Drop the feet back to the floor. One last downward dog, pedaling out the feet if you need to. Walking the feet back under the rigging point. Let's take a quick hang here. Release the hands, rolling it up one vertebrae at a time. Shoulders are the last to come up. Head back. Hands shoulder width apart. Feet shoulder width apart. Press into your hammock. Send the hips back, hands forward. Nice stretch here. Option to take a little side bend to the right. Bring it back into the center. Side bend to the left. Back into the center. Rolling it up. Let's finish with the uh, silk behind our back. Bringing our elbows forward into that W position. One final hinge at the hips. Getting into the packs. Looking over the right shoulder. Bringing it back into the center over the left shoulder. Back into the center. Bring the hammock over the head. One final reach here. Dropping the head below the arms for a deeper shoulder stretch. Rolling it up. And there you have it. No excuses, guys. There's plenty you can do in 10 minutes. I hope you enjoyed this quick 10 minute flow and it got you on your way for your day.